I say it's a man. I say it isn't it. It can't be. And we'll find it. I might be a wee bit you and cry about it, all right? What's his name again? That Mina. And we'll see about that. Mmm. Oh, that was lovely. Most refreshing. Eh, time for another? Rather. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Davey! Dave? Davina. Yes. What can I get you, boys? Eh, same again. <laughs> Good result for a selling sir, there. I wouldn't know, I'm sorry. Not really into rugby. I think she's got shooters on her at Will Carlin. Say what he's like. No man could ever make me feel the way she makes me feel when she smiles at me. Gone in old stone queens are close to me. I put the scotch back to see my jeans. Sorry, James. Here you go. 2.55. Thanks very much. Eh, pain of heavy for yourself. Thank you, no. But I'll have a lime and soda, though. Forget it, lads. There's nothing between their legs but a Vesprey silhouette. <laughs> James E. Cotter can sniff a bogus beaver at 20 pieces. What can I get you? Oh, eh, uh, nothing at all, no. I'm, I'm just looking, you know. Me too. Chest hair. I like to see a hairy chest. Such an enhancement to masculinity, I always think. Oh, eh, uh, cheers, Paul. Eh, <laughs> uh, thanks very much. Eh, uh, what's uh, uh, your name at all? Divina. Oh, Davina. Oh, cheers, Davina. <laughs> you see that there, you see that? <laughs> I'm having a compliment to him, and it's just here. He's all the way up to his Adam's apple. <laughs> I don't need these bastards of satisfaction, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. Been meeting my uh, new temporary barmaid. Oh, aye, 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 aye. <laughs> Good chance of surprises, eh? Mark, well, live and let live. Between you and me, she's uh, saving up for the operation, no? Sex change. Oh, we. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. May as well tell her about my name doing in the list and all. I'm not a good mad tadger or something. It's obvious. Don't jump to conclusions. Just because your wife started to take an interest in her appearance. Keeps talking about some guy she's working with. And won't they let you anywhere near her? It doesn't mean to say she's found another bloke. Well, no. Uh, what the hell does it mean to. <laughs> No, you're right enough for that jump in the oh, That's very good. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, boys. I fair put my mind at rest there, you know. Oh, sorry, Rab. Oh, no bother, Bill. No bother. See, you paid the first instalment of your operation there. Eh? Well, that's all comes, you know. How about you? Oh, don't ask. Don't ask. Shall I? If there's anything I can do. Ah, uh, there's nothing I can do. She's got another guy. A fella called Frio. But anyway. Thanks very much for asking, you know. Come on, Norrie, put us out of our misery. Is that a woman or isn't it? Aye, we're getting strange stirrings in the loins here. We yeah, want to know if we're entitled to these stirrings. Exactly. We need to know if we're perverts or just decent, honest to goodness, sexist bastards. <laughs> we need to know. All right, all right, you ask for it. Davina has the feelings of a woman. But the thing is, they're trapped inside the body of a man. I met her when I was working as a psychiatric nurse. The confusion was causing her great emotional distress. It's not doing me much good either. <laughs> Okay, Mrs. Nesbitt. I'll see. You're not Mrs. Nesbitt. Are you new? Yes, completely fresh. Just filling in for Mary, women's trouble, you know. Hope you don't mind. No, no, no. I'm fresh too. Or maybe you've heard. What's your name? Davina. got lovely hips, Davina. Oh, away. I've got bigger handles than the Scottish Cup. Had 
the FA Cup. And you've got yourself a brassiere. <laughs> really, Mr. Friel, you're very upfront. Give me half a chance and I will be. You know what I'm saying to you now? Forthright is my middle name. Really? What? No offence, Mr. Friel. It's just that so many men nowadays can only talk a good fight. Well, step inside my cupboard there. It'll be my body that does the talking. Really? And what'll mine be saying? I surrender. <laughs> Dear. Well, I wouldn't want to displease my new boss and maybe risk losing my job. No, no, no. Don't say it like that. You're under no pressure. I mean, as if... Oh, dear. My ring gets awfully tight when I get hot. Tell me about it. Maybe I could just pop it into your cupboard here for safekeeping. You can pop it anywhere you like, darling. It's awfully dark in here. Don't worry. I know my way around. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> 